Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking the Lego Batman movie and the collectible minifigure series. And don't forget about the Talk Bricks holiday giveaway explosion. For any of my videos in December, simply comment and subscribe and you could win a prize. This series is unique as it's the first to contain 20 figures and the whole line comes out January 1st, but I was able to find it a little bit earlier at my local store. This series is full of fun characters, so let's get started. First up, we've got Lobster Lovin' Batman, and he certainly wouldn't be a Lobster Lovin' Batman without that brand new lobster piece, which looks really great. You can also set it on this plate he's holding of a leaf of lettuce and what seems to be butter. With his lobster thermidor removed, we can see this great robe printing on the front. It has this really ornate pattern that continues onto the legs. And here's a quick shot of the face underneath. From the side here, we can see that this great pattern is continued onto the side of the arms and the side of the legs. And we can see here that the robe on the bottom is accomplished with dual molding. And here's a quick shot of the continuation of the print on the back. Next up, we've got Glam Metal Batman. And I really love this rocker style he's got. It looks like he could be a member of the band Kiss. The print features lots of great details, including a bat on the belt. And he has this great accessory, which is this guitar piece in a black and silver color scheme. The print continues onto the legs, and there's even some printing on the cowl. His expression is this singing expression with eyes closed. And here's a quick shot of the face under the cowl. From the side here, we can see that the print continues onto the side of the legs, and we even have some great arm printing detail. He also features a shoulder accessory, which adds these silver spikes. But it does cause some wrinkling of the cape, as it can't lay there properly. Next up, we have Fairy Batman. This bat suit features a hilarious ballerina pink design, and I really love the simple print on the torso and the way that it continues onto the legs with those laced up shoes. He features a light pink cowl, as well as this fairy wand accessory, as well as a pink tutu. And here's a quick look at the face print underneath. From the side here, we can see the printing on the arms as well as the side of the legs. And both of these feature some nice dual molding. Fairy Batman's final accessory is this set of wings, which we can see here from the back. Next up, we've got Clan of the Cave Batman, and this is a caveman-style Batman with a really nice leopard print fabric that continues from the torso onto the legs. This is a brown version of the cowl, and it features this stitched-up detail. And here's a quick look at the face print under the cowl. From the side here, we can see the dual molding on the arms and legs, and the great printed detail. We can also see his main accessory, which is this large club. And here from the back, we can see a brown version of the Batman cape. Next up, we have Vacation Batman, and this is definitely one of my favorites. He features a new version of the Batman cowl, with these swim goggles over-molded. He's got a Batman-style Hawaiian shirt print, with tons of little Batman logos on the torso. And he has this amazing accessory piece of a duck floaty, featuring printing for the beak, as well as a Nightwing-style mask. And here's a quick shot of the face print underneath. This figure features dual molding for the short sleeves, with some printing on the side as well as dual molding on the legs, as well as this little Batman logo to create the swim trunks. Finally, his other accessory are two orange flippers, but I put them underneath here so it wouldn't fall over. And on the back, we can see a nice continuation of the print from the front. Next up, we've got Barbara Gordon in her officer's uniform. And it's a really nice look overall, with lots of different details to create a formal look. She has two accessories. On the left, we have a set of handcuffs. And on the right, it's some sort of Batman badge, or perhaps a button to trigger the bat signal. The torso print with the jacket detail is really nice, and from the side we can see some additional printing on both arms to add that badge detail. I also love this police hat, which features printing as well as dual molding to add the hair. From the back, we can see that the hair is pulled back into a bun, and there's a great continuation of the print from the front. Next up, we have Commissioner Gordon in a far less formal outfit. I really like the way that the print looks all disheveled, and there's some really nice detail that continues onto the pants, where we can see the badge. He features a walkie-talkie, as well as this tile with a great print, with a wanted sign for the Joker. And this is my first look at this new hairpiece, which has some light gray details, and looks really nice. From the side here, we can see some dual molding for the sleeves, as well as some printed detail to add wrinkles. And from the back, we have a nice continuation of the print from the front. Next up, we have Arkham Asylum Joker, and this one's different than the one that we're getting in the Arkham Asylum set. It features the same print on the torso and the legs to provide the Arkham uniform, but it features two unique faces. This first one is almost nostalgic, while the other one is extremely sad. 
From the side here we can see his main accessory, which is a set of handcuffs. And from the back we can see a nice print with the Arkham logo. Next up we have Dick Grayson, and this is the version that we saw in the trailer, featuring this lovely sweater print with little robins printed on it. There's a pretty nice blue jean print on the legs, and this is one of the versions of Robin that doesn't have the green goggles. And here's a quick shot of the face print underneath. His main accessory is this container of shark repellent. We can see here on one side it has a print with a no shark logo, and the other side says shark repellent. And on the back we have a nice continuation of the Robin details from the front. Next up we have Pink Power Batgirl. And this must be an earlier version of the costume. The print is a simple design with bat emblems on the chest as well as the belt. She features that newer style skirt piece with some printing on the legs and a dual sided face with one side smiling and the other one being more determined. And I really like the pink mask. From the side here we can see some printing on the arms as well as dual molding to create the boots. Her main accessory is a pink batarang. I really love this new hair piece with the silver detail at the top. And from the back we can see this amazing shiny satiny pink cape. Next up we have Red Hood which has a really silly reuse of the Mr. Freeze armor piece with a solid red dome. It features a bow tie print on the front, and with the dome removed, we can see the standard red hood print underneath. And this one is different than the one that we just got. Removing the armor entirely, we can see a really nice suit print underneath with purple details. And from the side, we can see his purple gloves holding onto two guns. From the back here, we can see the red cape, which also gets a bit crushed by the armor. And onto the villains. Here we have the eraser, and he looks like one large pencil, with the head being the eraser, and the body having these stripes like the edges of a pencil, with the pencil tips at his feet. I really love the way this print comes together going from the torso to the legs, and that headpiece is actually a brand new mold, with a dual mold of yellow and silver, with some red eyes printed on it. There's also room for that one by one round pink tile at the top to make the eraser. His main accessory is a notebook with one thing to do, to erase. From the side here we can see more of the printing on the side of the arms and the legs to continue that pattern, with similar details continuing onto the back of the torso. Next up we have Nurse Harley Quinn, and this one is just perfect. The printing that continues from the torso to the legs gives her a great candy striper uniform, complete with a stethoscope and detailed printing for the boots. Her main accessory is the Arkham Asylum chart for the Joker, and it features a drawing of a heart with H plus J. From the side here we can see some nice printing on the arms, and a new accessory for that amazing hairpiece. It features a heart at the front, and a slightly more complicated mold than I would have expected. And here at the back we can see a really nice continuation of the print from the front. Next up we have Orca. I really love the graphic print that we can see from the torso to the legs, with the white and black details. Between the teeth we can see the mouth details, which is accomplished by a clever print on the head. From the side here we can see that this is the exact same mold for the shark, using the same flipper pieces, but the clever repaint makes this really successful. And here's a quick shot of the figure from behind. Next up we have Zodiac Master which features a nice blue and light blue color scheme. I really enjoy the face print on this one with the Z on the head. In addition to the nice details of the costume, the print features all the zodiac signs throughout, and he has two accessories. One is the fish to represent Pisces, and the other one is the crab to represent cancer. I really like the details on the side of the arms and the legs, and overall the zodiac signs have a nice metallic gold paint to them. And from the back we've got a nice continuation of the print from the front. Next up we have Catman, and this one features a simple yellow print with some details over the shoulders and some scratch prints on the center of the torso. He is a brown new style cowl, and here's what the print looks like underneath. Catman uses the new belt piece in brown, but backwards. He also reuses the Wolverine style claws. From the side here we can see the dual molding on the legs, and from the back, the brown cape. Next up we have March Harriet, and I really love this overall design. She features a nice reuse of the bunny headpiece with some printing for the ears, and she has a really great outfit with the print continuing from the torso down to the legs. And I really like that lacy detail, which continues onto the side of the legs. And she also features printing on the side of the arms. Her main accessory is this Tommy gun piece, and from the back, we can see a really nice continuation of the print from the front. Next up, we have the calculator, and he features this armor piece, as well as a helmet and visor, to create the calculator look. On the torso there, we've got a one by one tile, with the calculator buttons, and the screen on the visor says 07734, which upside down spells hello. There's printing on the top of the helmet, and he's got a really nice face print underneath. 
Underneath the armor, we can see the simple torso print with that belt detail, which continues down the side of the arms and the side of the dual molded legs. Here we can see a shot of the armor from the back, and with the armor removed, we can see a nice continuation of the print from the front. Next up, we have King Tut, and this is a really detailed Egyptian print. The torso features a scarab detail around the neck, and I love the different folds of the fabric with the gold detail. The legs are two different colors of dual molding to create that really nice look that's enhanced by the stripe printing on the side. King Tut also features two main accessories with a snake staff on the left and a green snake on the right. From the back, we can see the red cape, which also gets a bit crunched under the headdress. Last but certainly not least, we have Mime, and I really like the overall punk rock design. The face has some makeup on it, and she has this dark blue mohawk piece. You can also see that the stripe detail continues onto the side of the legs, as well as the side of the arms. From the side here, we can also see her two accessories, which are these dual colored lightning bolts. And from the back, we can see a nice continuation of the print from the front. The Lego Batman movie collectible minifigure series is definitely one of my favorites of all time. All the character designs are really unique, and I loved getting each one of them. Adding to my collection of crazy Batman villains and even crazier Batman costumes really makes this one a must-have for me. Some of my favorites from the line are definitely the Vacation Batman, Fairy Batman, New Harley Quinn, and the Eraser. But the entire line is full of inspired designs, great new parts, as well as amazing detailed prints. This set already has more minifigures than most, but I'm already ready for a wave too. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about the figures, and which ones were your favorite? Don't forget, your comment enters you for the Talk Bricks Holiday Giveaway Explosion. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time you've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to learn all about the new posters and all the secrets you missed. And don't forget to subscribe.